The economy is under the microscope in the French presidential election as the candidates attempt to outline their programmes. Under fire conservative Francois Fillon offers the most business-friendly economic platform of all the candidates. He wants an end to the French brain drain and the flexibility to create new businesses in France. He intends to scrap the limit on weekly working hours, extend the retirement age and cut unemployment benefits and the civil service. Far-right candidate Marine Le Pen has sought to reassure voters that her plan to shed the euro would not lead to catastrophe. If elected, Le Pen says the government would take control of the central bank. She tweeted her desire for the banks to finance small businesses and enforce payment deadlines. Le Pen will use the Bank of France to create money. The new French franc will then finance benefits, industrial strategy and repay debt. Centre-left candidate, the former investment banker and economic minister Emmanuel Macron wants a Nordic-style economy, which combines fiscal discipline with a public spending programme. His desire is to create a new growth model, sustainable, green, with increased social mobility. He took to Twitter to say that France must not block innovation. He's announced that he would cut 120,000 civil service jobs while reinvesting 50 billion euros of savings into the economy. Socialist Benoit Hamon, on a visit to Berlin, rests his economic platform on the universal income concept. That is, the state pays all a basic monthly income, in this case, 750 euros a month. He took to Twitter from Germany to inform Angela Merkel of his complete rejection of austerity. Jean-Luc Mélenchon is the hard-left candidate. He's looking to the disenchanted for support. He wants a minimum wage of €1,300 a month and 100% taxation on those earning 33000 a month. He tweeted his desire to increase the minimum wage to allow the citizens of France to live well. Whoever wins the election, changes are afoot for the French economy.